Today we're going to be looking at the top three clone minifigures LEGO needs to make. Now, there are endless opportunities for clones that LEGO could make that they haven't, such as ARC Trooper 5s right here, or even Echo. But before we get into the video, I want everyone to comment 501st if you're ready for my upcoming stop motion. Also, make sure to subscribe and like. Now, our first minifigure here is the 21st Nova Corps Trooper, or better known as the Galactic Marines. These minifigures just look so, so cool, as well as their well, real-life counterparts. The Galactic Marines are amazing. They're led by Commander Bakara and the great Jedi General Ki-Adi Mundi. They're most famous for their battle on my Gido scene, where, well, they killed Ki-Adi Mundi. The Galactic Marine is such an army-buildable minifigure, and it just looks so, so cool. I'm surprised LEGO hasn't made one yet. If LEGO was to make one, this is what they're most commonly affiliated with, the UTAT, or the Unstable Terrain Artillery Transport. So, if LEGO was to make the Galactic Marine, I would hope that it would be in a set with this thing right here. The Galactic Marines have long been rumored to make their entrance into LEGO Star Wars. For example, a couple of years ago, we had this rumor right here that we would get a bunch of Galactic Marines along with Kiadi Mundi in an ATOT or even this Galactic Marine battle pack, which was rumored at around 2020. But with that being said, the Galactic Marine is a minifigure that needs to be added to LEGO Star Wars. But let's move on to our next minifigure. Our next clone here isn't just one, but it is a bunch of clones, and that is just clones from the second battle of Geonosis. This battle was very, very bloody, and we got to see a lot of cool clones, such as... The Flame Trooper on the left, Arf Trooper Boyle and Waxer and Commander Jet. All these clones came in this really, really cool Geonosis clone armor. The first minifigure we're going to focus on here is Clone Commander Jet. He came with that really cool first-generation recon clone helmet, along with the Pauldron and Karma and the Geonosis Santan armor pieces. He looks really, really great. He was just such a cool clone trooper to watch fighting next to Kiadi Mundi, along with all those flame troopers. Which, speaking of which, is the next minifigure on the list. These Geonosis flame troopers were very unique, and I'm very sad that we didn't get these during that wave where LEGO made these second battle of Geonosis sets. I think this minifigure looks absolutely amazing. But our next and last minifigures for this Geonosis clone wave is Arf Trooper Boyle and Arf Trooper Waxer. They both look really, really cool in this Geonosis camo Arf armor. And Waxer does come with a little picture of the Twi'lek on the left side of his visor. But they just look absolutely amazing. Now moving on. Our final minifigure here is Clone Commando Gregor. We saw him in the Clone Wars helping the droids escape that weird random planet out in the middle of nowhere where he was working at the restaurant waiter and he just had a crazy, crazy scene here. We do know he survived this obviously because we did see him in Star Wars Rebels, but this was just an amazing episode to watch and would be a great minifigure to get as LEGO has never done a Clone Commando and I would think it would be really cool to get an official LEGO version. There are many customs of him that look great like this minifigure right here obviously from Nash Vegas Bricks, go check them out, but Clone Commando Gregor is a must-have minifigure, just getting a Clone Commando would be so, so cool for LEGO Star Wars, but with that being said, that is all the minifigures we have here in this video. So if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, notifications, everything. Make sure to do all of it for more videos in the future. Thank you.